In today's video, I'll show you step by step how to create a line journal, just like this one. And then of course, start selling on Amazon. We're gonna design the book in Canva.com. I will show you the steps for it. And then we will see how you can upload it on Amazon and start selling. And the beautiful thing is that it's gonna take you less than 20 minutes to create. And of course, my desire for this channel, for us, is that we will all have at least five different income streams by the end of this year. And the good thing about that is that this is just passive income for us. But let me get this straight. This is not a get rich quick scheme. It will never be. I know that a lot of people are telling you, you can get $2,000 the next week. Honestly, something like that doesn't exist. And if you don't work for something, it'll never be profitable for you. Forget about all these videos. Forget about all these people just telling you lies. If you don't work for something, you will never be profitable. That's the way it works. So keep your nine to five job right now. Use this as a side hustle. And with some dedication and patience, you can create something really beautiful for yourself. And I know you need this. I know you want it. And this can be fun as well. Let's create something beautiful. The first step is to go over to Amazon.com and start doing the research. This is the most important part. Whatever you want to make, you want to be sure that it is a product that people want to buy. So this is what you can do. Just type in journal for and all this that you are going to get down there are the things that people are searching for. Yeah, Amazon is kind to give us that. Now, let's just focus on one more thing. Let's just say that we want to create like a Christian journal. Just go and then you can see what people are searching for. So for couples, bestseller, black women, men, women, couples, man, moms, there's a lot of things, you know? Then there's like journals for teen girls, for teen boys, for girls 14 to 16. So yeah, you got to decide which one of these you are going to take and you have to do extensive research on it to see if people are searching for it. Because if you type in journal for elephants, you can see that there's not a lot of searches for journal for elephants. Have a look at this. There's even journal for teenage girls with depression. God help us. But nevertheless, the goal here is to find an exemplary journal that we want to go and kind of copy, you know, just get the idea. For example, I don't know, like this one. If you click on this one, you will see that this one has 130 ratings, but it's a pretty old one. I want to find something like this. As you can see, 800 bought in the past month. So now, what do you want to do? Go inside, scroll down to the description so you can see what this book is all about. This is product dimensions. As you can see, 8.27 by 5.91. You got to know this. And after you just pinpoint what do you want to make, you then proceed to make an of it. Now, I got to tell you this. All of these successful people, all of these people that are making journals, they do one per day. All right. It needs less than 20 minutes, as I've told you. But you got to make one per day until you get to that best sellers. This is what people do. This is just like social media. You have to be consistent with it. You have to try and try and make mistakes and then go and do it again and then just fall and then rise again until you find the perfect ebook, journal, whatever. Trust me, consistency is the name of the game. It's not rocket science. So now I go to canva.com. I go over and then I just type in line journal. I'll get a lot of these templates. A lot of these are for free. Canva also has a paying option. As you can see, all these with a crown, you can't use those unless you are subscribed. But the good thing about this one is that Canva will give you 30 day free trial. That's good. In those 30 days, you can use whatever you want and you can create as many journals as possible and maybe later reinvest in Canva subscription. I'm not affiliating for them. Do what you want. I'm just telling you the options. So what do we want to do now? We want to go and fill the interior. All right. So, for example, for teenage girls, I like something like this. This one is even for free. As you can see, you just have to customize it a bit. When you land inside of this one, I just want to resize this one. You do that by clicking on magic switch and then you go to custom size here, as you can see. And then I want to make this seven by 10 inches. This is something that I saw that works. So click on the continue button, click on resize this design, and then it's going to be your interior. If you want to go and increase this a bit, you can do it. For example, like this one, where I just moved just down there. This daily journal, you can move it like here, let's say like here, and now it looks perfect, right? The next thing you want to do, you want to make over 100 pages. And this is how you do it on Canva. Click here on the grid view. Now, this is your grid view. You can simply 
click Control plus C and then Control plus V to duplicate this page. And you're gonna do it for like 10 times. When you get all of these 10, well then just select all of those. Just Control A or you can just go and select all of these and you can see that there are 10 pages. Now move your mouse over to this one and you will duplicate 10 pages all at once. Okay, so now it's 20. One more click, it's 30, 40. And then you click until you get the desired number of pages. I'll go with 120, as you can see. It's the perfect number. And this is all you gotta do. Your daily journal is done. Each one of these pages are gonna look like this. And you didn't have to design this. Isn't it cool? So, what do we wanna do now? Click on the share button here. Click on the download button here. And then choose this file type, which is PDF print. It is best for printing, as you can see. Go and download this to your computer. Interior is done. You see how easy this is? As I've told you, only the consistency. It's not hard. We do have more steps though. Now what do we have to do is to design the cover. Go to Google and type in KDP cover calculator. On KDP cover calculator, select binding type, which is gonna be paperback. This one is cheaper. Interior type is gonna be black and white. Paper type is gonna be white paper. Page turn direction, left to right. Measurements, units, inches or millimeters if you use them. And interior trim size is gonna be seven by 10 inches. That's what we've used. And then go and enter the number of pages. This is what you got to do. Click on calculate dimensions and this is going to be your cover dimensions. You have the template here. Click on download. This is going to be in zip file. You open that up and you open up Canva once more. Now here you can just click on create a design once more and then go custom size here. And then you have to open this PDF file that you've got from KDP cover calculator. Pay attention to this. These are the overall dimensions of your cover. So the right hand side is gonna be your front cover and this is gonna be the back cover, this left hand side. So these are the dimensions that you are gonna enter in Canva. So this 14.52 and then this, you can copy and paste just move this to inches and then just click on create new design. In here, the first thing you gotta do is to upload that PDF file and it's gonna cover the whole thing because we have took these dimensions, right? Now you can see these lines, this is where the book folds. So it's gonna be the spine. All we gotta do is to make the cover on this right hand side. And of course it's gonna be easy. Go to elements on the left hand side here and search for journal cover. There's gonna be a lot of these graphics, see all, and then just choose something that you like. These are gonna be all the templates. For example, let's just take this one. I'll put it here. Now all you gotta do is to click on this because we need to make this like transparent so we can see like this one. And of course we can click on it, right click on it, go to layers here and then just bring forward. I mean, you have to do this with this one. So click, right click on it, layer, bring forward, or just bring to front, because we don't wanna mix this up with this one. Now, just make this into these lines, just make a quick adjustment. Let it cover the whole page by these lines, as you can see, and it's done. Now you just have to go back to these elements, take some of these shapes to grab the shape, put it here, and then just make this shape like here. Once more, bring this to front and then change the color of this, for example, like this. Of course, you're gonna change this to 2024. You can even rename this. This is the front cover and this is the back one. You can even put some flowers, for example, because it's for teenage girls. You can just go and play with it like this, or you can just go and increase the size of it, for example, like this. You can play with it in any way you like, play with transparency, you know, there's a lot of cool little things on Canva and it can be really fun. But all that we need to do now is to go and upload this thing. If you don't have an account on Kindle Direct Publish and make one, then when you log in inside of this one, well, it's a pretty straightforward business. Create, manage publish click on create button here and then honestly just choose paperback and you've got a lot of things to fill here for example book title you know how to do it this edition number you don't have to do author just put your own name contributors if you've got some and a short description for the book as of course you can use it and then just go down there and to the next page to the next page keywords release date until you come to price 
and for price go and see what other competitors are doing and just put it a little bit lower that's it you just made your first journal with the help of canva and it's pretty good make one each day upload it to amazon and be patient go and see what other people are doing do thorough research and i wish you good luck i'll catch you